Luce Lester Bimbi Cortesi, Passai. Are you ready for our next special award? It's Miss Photogenic. She is the candidate that registers well on camera and exudes physical attractiveness in photographs. Our Miss Photogenic is... Basai! You prayed for this and now it's been answered. Basai City! Basai! This child of the sea loves spending time on the beach with her fur babies as she's a fan of beautiful and scenic sunsets. Like her, she's a beauty you can't deny. Pasai. Ilo, Ilo, Pasai. Celeste is at her ultimate when she is vulnerable because she truly believes that showing and embracing her vulnerability makes her a stronger person. Basai City! Next up, we have Miss Basai. Beautiful, Miss Pasai. You grew up in both Italy and the Philippines. Yes. What would you say are your best Filipino and Italian traits? If there is something that I can say there is in common with Italian heritage and Filipino heritage, it's that we are strong women. And we always value family. <laughs> Thank you. And we always value family. If there is something that my mom always taught me is be grateful for your family, for your loved ones and the people around you. Because when you're grateful and kind, people will be kind as well and grateful for you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. I came to the Philippines almost five years ago without knowing how to speak English and couldn't comprehend any Tagalog words either. Growing up in Italy, I considered myself exposed to two different cultures, not just in terms of cuisines and habits, but most importantly, in terms of values and attributes that I carry with me today. One of the best childhood memories that I have was spending time with my family, especially when my dad used to read us poems that he wrote himself for us. Having been able to immerse and embrace my Filipino heritage, I got to know about the situation of the indigenous people here in the Philippines who get displaced from their lands because of modernization and development. I'd like to champion their cause by putting a spotlight on their situation and their unique and rich cultural heritage that makes the Philippines the most beautiful and unique place in the world. Ako po si Celeste Rabimbi Cortesi, isang Filipina and it would be my greatest honor to represent the Philippines. Baguio City. Pasay City! Let's call on Miss Basai. Miss Basai. Miss Basai. 
If you could stop time for a day, how would you spend it? If I could stop time, I would spend it with my family, especially my mother. It's been two years that I don't see my family because they live in Italy, and I came here in the Philippines just by myself. So if I had a chance to spend one day, I would definitely be with my mom, and I would just tell her how much I love her and I miss her. Thank you. I'm sure she's proud of you. Thank you, Miss Pasay. Bohol! A very beautiful crown indeed. Here we go. The first name I will be calling is our new Miss Universe Philippines. The new Miss Universe Philippines 2022 is... Pasay City! Celeste Cortesi! That means Miss Makati Michelle D is our Miss Universe Philippine Tourism. Universe Philippines! Congratulations to all the new queens. You are all uniquely beautiful. This has been Demi Lee Thibault. Thank you. This is Iris Mitana. Thank you and congratulations, Miss Universe Philippines Organization. Salamat. And this is Pia Wurzbach. Mabuhay ang gandang Pilipina. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas.